Sherry Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and artist tablet books. In this video, we will explore settings in the thick paint media panel and how they affect our brush stroke. Here is a painting that I'm currently working on, Sunset Over Point Loma. For this piece, I used the Real Bristle Oils Fan Short and Smooth Round Oils variants of thick paint. If you look in the upper left at the brush selector here, you'll see that the thick paint category is chosen and the smooth round oils brush variant is chosen. In this video we're going to start off using the smooth round oils and I'm going to go through the settings in the thick paint media panel that you see right here and the, how they affect this particular brush. The thick paint media panel can be opened and closed by clicking the icon on the property bar. Now let's dive in and explore the thick paint media panel. The first item that we're going to look at is the type menu. You see up here type it's set to paint which is the default. So I'm going to apply some paint here. Make a puddle of paint. We're going to look at paint with grain and this will allow us to apply a little grain around the edge. We're going to look more into the paint with grain controls later in the panel. And then plow paint will allow us to lay down paint and then excavate or displace existing paint. Next we're going to look at plow paint with grain and then erase. Next, we're going to look at the deposit section of the panel. I'm going to paint a default stroke. As you can see, the stroke that we painted is smooth and a lot of paint was applied. Let's paint a stroke with a lower rate. We'll turn it way down to under 10. And you see, we don't get as much paint volume. So let's turn it back up to 100. The min rate is the minimum amount of paint that is going to be applied. We have the expression pop-up menu and right now it's set to pressure. Rate jitter allows us to show more nuances in the paint and the smoothness slider. If we turn this down, you see the dimpling in the paint. So let's go back to our default variant. And you see that it's quite smooth and a lot of paint is applied. Now let's have fun looking at the canvas section. I'll make a default stroke. Paint a puddle of paint. As you notice in the canvas area, the wetness is set to 48% by default. If we turn this up to 100, we'll be able to make a stroke that, and pull paint out even further. If we turn it down really low, we're not going to get much paint. And the minimum affects it. So if we specify a minimum, then if we go back up here and use very light pressure, you see the amount change right here. So the expression is set to pressure. Now to access the grain height, we have to choose the paint type paint with grain. And so with very light pressure, I bring up a lot of grain. And as I paint with heavier pressure, I apply more paint. We turn the grain height down you see you just get a little bit of grain at the end of the stroke. So the two most important sliders in the canvas area of the panel are the wetness slider with which you adjust how much paint is picked up by the brush and also the grain slider. And again to use the grain slider you have to have one of the paint with grain types chosen, either paint with grain or plow paint with grain. Now let's have a look at the droplets section. I'll paint a puddle of paint with the default variant and as you see the radius here is set to 89 
if we turn it all the way up to 100, we've made the size of the paint droplets even larger. If we turn it down very low, we've made the size of the droplets a lot smaller. The min radius is the minimum size, the minimum droplet size that you want the expression to apply. And as you see, for this particular default brush, I did not have an expression set. Um, we'll do that a little bit later. So let me go back to the default and let's look at the radius jitter. If we turn this up, you're going to see you get the size varying between the radius 85 here and the min radius. And if we turn the smoothness down, then we're going to have less smoothness smoothing the or calming down the radius jitter. So you get this lumpy look. I'm going to go back to the default variant again. And we'll just look at smoothness by itself if I turn this down. So you see um, with smoothness down low and radius jitter down low, we don't get a lot of lumpiness. But if we turn up the radius jitter, then we do. Okay, let's go back to our default again. And the spacing sets the spacing of the droplets on a stroke. So here we are with our okay, store default variant. And then we'll turn down the spacing so you get more paint. It's denser. And if we turn up the spacing, you see we get the dimpled effect. I'm going to go back here, restore default variant, and we'll have a look at the hardness. Hardness is zero because I wanted a smooth stroke. If we turn up the hardness, you're going to see the look of the droplets on the stroke. We have a couple more items on the panel to explore and I'm back to my default smooth round oils brush and we're going to paint a stroke and then I'm going to change the expression to pressure so it's going to vary the look of the stroke based on the radius size and the min radius. So you see you get more striations in the stroke with it set to pressure. I'm going to turn it back to none. And then we're also going to look at flatten paint. Enabling flatten paint will allow you to paint flatter brush strokes as you see right here. And if we turn it off, we get one like that. So as you can see, there are a lot of important controls in the media panel. Really fascinating. I hope you enjoyed exploring the controls in the Thick Paint Media Panel with me. Happy painting! Mm -hmm.